Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another episode brought to you by Games Glitches. In today's episode we're gonna take a look at how one can obtain a gear 268. I know before you go, Games Glitches what the fuck, you already did a video on this, fuck you. I know, but apparently, you know, I'm getting so much heat that I used, you know, I did corny jokes. I'm sorry, I was just like, wanted to have fun with you guys, it backfired on me, my bad. In any case, we'll get on with the glitch because all of you always love to complain that I talk too much and I think I'm within the one minute range at the moment still. You know, so I'm good. I'm good. In any case, uh, uh, what, first what you need to do is do a mission with any amount of friends. Here we were doing Medicine Field Hospital with these two amazing people, two amazing brothers, uh, MDA Uber Trojan and MDA Uber uh, Striker. Uh, MDA is a clan. Uh, shout out to you brothers as a clan. I really appreciate your help. Uh, you know, they've spent time and effort helping me out with this. It's, you know, I'm always grateful when people go out of their way and help me out with a glitch. You know, there's because there's some things I just can't do alone. Well, in any case, let's get on with it. Uh, this glitch is very simple and you know those who already seen it uh, you guys could just you know move on and in the next video There's a lot of shit that's coming a lot of amazing glitches that I'm actually going to be doing in upcoming videos They're uh, They're really brutal. They're really brutal But all right, so first uh, step first you need to obtain gear pieces that you can share with your friend you have it here. This will allow you to raise the gear score to 268. There are many reasons why you need to, uh, why you can control your gear score. You can control your gear score, leave your items in a bank, and then take them out with an. Uh, I'm sorry, in your uh, stash, take them out with your other character, and all of a sudden you can have any gear score because the. Uh, the, um, the game registers items that you have in your cache. I'm sorry for talking, but this is important, please. Uh, you'll see where I'm going with this. It registers items that you have in your cache, uh, in your stash, I mean. So if you take out all items that are very over two, uh, uh, over 214 out of your stash and put them on your old character, just put them all in your, in your backpack and only have the gear score, whatever gear score you want on your character, those items, you could actually enter lower level dark zones and farm out dark zone credits and dark zone funds and dark zone stuff much much easier you could actually rock your end game weapon with a shed of your gear it just allows you to control your gear score it also allows when you about when you finish a mission you could also like for example underground people go oh it only matters when you get the cash and I'm sorry I sincerely am sorry I forgot to mention that uh, uh, because I kind of thought that people would come to the same realization that you will open the cash before you would finish like you I'm sorry you would switch out your gear Year before you would like finish the mission before you walk out the door and get that final experience where you get that experience awarded and level and where you actually get it like right before that happens you could actually do this glitch and completely get your gear score to 268 and pull out beautiful gear out of those underground caches like that's what I was going with uh, I'm sorry if that wasn't really clear enough I just wanted to clarify those two things in this episode because a lot of people are going oh this is a useless glitch first of all glitch is a glitch and my job is to record them and report them that's all I can do in any case so uh, you hold T while spamming equip on either controller Xbox PlayStation this works all round now then you'll proceed doing this to every piece of the gear as you could see my gear score currently is dropping because now I would also need to drop weapons under the same principle you would select another weapon you would mouse over it and then you go T and share I mean T and equip which is T is in share item. now you don't have a weapon then you would of course do it with the next weapon Then you would, of course, do it with a gun. By the way, this is how you could drop your weapons. By the way, guys, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is where I was talking about gear score. If you drop both of your weapons, your gear score will fly up quite drastically because those 229 weapons do not stop counting part of the formula. For example, I only have a gun on me. You know what? I'm going to put on that vest on me automatically. As you could see, missing two weapons, you could drop just purely weapons. 
and your gear score if you're missing that a little bit that gear score to get that 230 gear score you need to guarantee yourself to get the perfect item out of the cash to get those 229 and 268 and 230 by the way guys i did experiments there's going to be a whole video i did a whole schematics and shits and jesus christ uh or basically where i can demonstrate mathematically that after 230 you're guaranteed to uh, 268 and 229 before that there's a chance of you getting 229 and 268 but it's very minuscule the lower your gear score the smaller chance you have at getting it and so on i've actually rolled another two level 30 characters to level 30 it took me like eight hours to get them each took me one, four hours practice to get one through 30 but that's aside so as you guys could see it's 2454 by just dropping two things and as you guys could see out this gear piece that I equipped is 240 on purpose so it's you don't think it's a 268 gear piece uh, there's actually two 240 pieces purposely shit pieces are equipped to show you that you could push your gear score really high by just dropping two weapons just drop your pistol drop your one weapon and then you got your main before you oh before you finish that in underground underground mission before you get that uh, before you get that cash all right let's move on let's keep dropping because before you guys start raging me shut the fuck up games glitches and keep making that video my bad my bad i'm sorry Now you can use your backpack or your one item, C240, 268, uh, this one doesn't have enough backpack space because I kind of have 61, but you already understand the point of this. With one single item, before you loot something, or by simply dropping two of your weapons, you can. Plus people go, oh, what's the point of this glitch? My job is to show you the glitches. So, I have to report you guys, no matter what glitch I find, this one, this one, because you never know what one glitch can lead up into another. You know, so, it's always nice to have an arsenal of them, of glitches and shut on. You know, uh, just saying, just saying. And a lot of people also asked in a previous video if it's possible to have gear score zero with this. Yeah, if you take the backpack off, you just have no fucking gear. It's literally gear score zero in the world of Division. But please know, when you do relog, the gear is going to be re-equipped to yourself. If you want to keep the gear completely equipped off yourself, you have to go dump it off in the stash. And then the gear can't re-equip itself and then you'll just have no hands and look like a fucking cannon man. You know, <laughs> you know, I hope you all will enjoy this version of this video a lot more. You know, I hope to see you guys, which some of you come up with some creative things to do. Please use my glitches to explore. There is no such thing as a useless glitch. You know, it's just in the world of Division, you never know what they're going to patch and what glitches are going to be created. In the same way as in my previous video, I talked about how you can do dailies infinitely in one single day. And some people went on, but you could already redo dailies. Not the same exact day, not the every five minutes that you can finish the dailies. You know, the, so I have to be more specific and I understand that at times I leave things out and I ramble on. But if you ever watch my stream and if you ever play with me, you'll know that my YouTube videos are exactly like I, me in streams. I like to talk to my people, I answer the comments, you guys could see it. I'm very communicative with you guys because I enjoy talking to you guys. And if you don't enjoy talking to me, well, there's not much I can do about that. You know, at least I hope you enjoy the video and have fun with the glitches. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this nice little video. And if you enjoyed this nice little video, I will send you my Platinum Song CD. It's the best track you've ever heard. You hear that remix, guys? It's a fucking Platinum status. Jay-Z... Tupac, 50, Eminem, fucking everybody. And that doesn't matter who it is. I, this is Beethoven, Mozart, and nobody, and nobody. This is the next motherfucking thing on the music industry. So click like now and get this amazing soundtrack.
See, I love when shit like this just happen in Division. Like, how... what? What? Come on!